हेलो एवरीवन टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज चैट जी पी टी फोर वर्सेज गूगल बार्ड चैट जी पी टी फोर वॉज लॉन्च इन मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड इट इम्प्रेस्ड यूजर्स विद इट्स इम्प्रेसिव एडवांसमेंट्स इन आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस टेक्नोलॉजी विद इट्स न्यू मल्टी मॉडल कैपेबिलिटीज चैट जी पी टी फोर कैन वर्क विथ मल्टीपल टाइप्स ऑफ इनपुट्स सच एस टेक्सट वॉइस एंड इमेजेस मेकिंग इट मोर वर्सेटाइल इन इट्स यूज देन इट्स अर्लियर वर्जन चैट जी पी टी थ्री However, one of ChatGPT 4's main drawbacks is that its training data only go up until September 2021, rendering it outdated for current events. Google's new AI chatbot called Bard aims to surpass ChatGPT in this area. In this video, let us present a comprehensive comparison between ChatGPT 4 and Google Bard. Now, what is a chatbot? Chatbots are computer programs designed to mimic human conversation and respond to user input in a way that feels natural and engaging. It uses artificial intelligence and natural language processing techniques to imitate conversations with users that resemble those held with actual humans. Now let us see the differences in ChatGPT 4 and Bard. ChatGPT uses generative pre-training transformer for GPT-4 models. GPT-4 models have been trained on massive amounts of internet data including books, websites and social media platforms resulting in an extensive understanding of the English language. Whereas Bard uses Google's language model for dialogue applications LAMDA, unlike GPT, LAMDA is trained on a more limited data set of specific topics and contest. Secondly, ChatGPT-4 generate human-like responses with a broader range of knowledge and understanding of different topics. Whereas Bard may excel in certain areas in which it has been trained such as specific industries or field. Third point of difference is that ChatGPT is trained on data till 2021, whereas Bard is trained on more recent data sets based on internet content called InfiniSet. Fourth point of difference is that ChatGPT-4 also cannot use the internet known as crawling to access data. However, Microsoft integrated ChatGPT-4 into the Bing search engine. Whereas Bard can also crawl the web for providing information. Now let us look at some points where ChatGPT excels. ChatGPT can generate human like responses making it suitable for natural sounding conversations on various topics. Secondly, ChatGPT excels in more complex scenarios or dialogues with extended detail and contextually relevant responses. ChatGPT has a broader range of knowledge and understanding of different topics due to its training on massive amounts of internet data. Fourth point is that ChatGPT can maintain consistency throughout the conversation and handle multiple rounds of dialogue. Fifth point is that ChatGPT 4 is multimodal now, which means it can work with multiple types of inputs such as text, voice and images, making it more versatile in its use. Now let us look at some points where Bard excels. Bard can crawl the web which helps it search the web in real time to find the most recent answers to questions and the latest research. LAMDA was created specifically to have more natural and open-ended conversations that means LAMDA is trained to understand the intent behind a user's question and the nuances of context making it suitable for tasks such as booking reservations or making appointments. Bard's more focused training results in more accurate and relevant responses to specific queries or tasks. Google claims that Bard is designed as a multimodal AI. However, its capabilities are yet to be tested. Now, let us talk about the limitations of ChatGPT. There is a risk of it inheriting the biases present in the data. This can lead to biased or inappropriate responses to certain queries. Secondly, its old 2021 training data also limits its capacity to capture the latest world events and research. It cannot crawl into the web to provide the latest information or to do fact checking which leads to generating false or irrelevant information quite often. 
Another limitation is that chat GPT struggles with tasks that require specific knowledge or expertise, such as providing medical diagnosis or legal advice, as its training data is more generalized. Now let us talk about the limitations of BARD. BARD's training data is focused on specific topics and context which can lead to limited knowledge outside of these areas. This may result in inaccurate or irrelevant responses to certain queries. This also limits its ability to handle more complex conversations that require a broader understanding of the topic or the ability to generate creative and innovative responses. Unlike ChatGPT, BARD's responses are trained to be more precise and accurate than generating extended and detailed responses. Though this helps BARD generate more accurate information, it can limit its effectiveness in conversations that require a more in-depth and comprehensive approach. BARD is still in the development stage and at present it is not as widely available as ChatGPT. To conclude our video, we would say that ChatGPT4 is versatile and can handle complex scenarios with broad knowledge while Google Bard is accurate and focused but may struggle with open-ended conversations. Their use depends on the task at hand and both are advancing rapidly. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. Comment below what are your opinion on this topic and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more hot topics like this.